Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can work with our video in Lightroom. So the first thing that we'll notice is when I'm in the grid view and I hover my cursor on top of a video clip and I move it left to right, we can actually scrub right through the video. You'll also notice that in the lower left there's the duration of the video. If I want to see this video larger, I can double click on it and then click the play icon or tap the space bar in order to play that video. If I would like to see some thumbnails above the video here, I can tap the spacebar to stop the video and then click on the grid icon to reveal those. Now I can use the current time indicator to scrub through the video which can help me to set new in and out points. So let's say I want to set my new in point here. I can either tap the I key for the end point or we can move this curtain over by grabbing the handle and sliding it to my current time indicator. Then I'll move forward in time and as soon as I reach the place that I want to be the out point, I'll go ahead and either tap the O key or again I can move and slide this curtain over so that now when I tap the space bar to play the video, it will only play between my new in and out point. Excellent. If we click on this icon right here, you'll notice that I can set a new poster frame because sometimes the beginning frame in your video isn't really representative of that clip. So let's move a little bit forward in time and then I'll click to set that as my poster frame. Now when I tap the G key, you'll notice that I have a new poster frame here in the grid view. All right, let's double click on that again. Let's say I want to make some adjustments to this image. Well, you'll notice over here in the quick develop area, I've used the disclosure triangles so that we can see what changes I can make. If I wanted to change the temperature, either making the image cooler by clicking on the arrows to the left or warmer on the right, I can certainly adjust both temperature as well as tint. If we move down to the tonal controls, I can change the exposure, maybe brightening it up a little bit and adding a little bit of contrast. Further down, I could adjust my white and black point and I can adjust my vibrance. But there are some additional options that are available in the develop module that I can't see here in quick develop. However, if I click on the develop module, you'll notice that it tells me that the video is not supported. So what I need to do is I need to do a little workaround. I'm going to use that same icon we used to set the poster frame to actually a capture a frame of video. And if we see now in my film strip, not only do I have the video, I also have the still image. And it's the still image that I can now take over to the develop module. So I'll tap the D key in order to move to the develop module. And I'm going to scroll down so that I work with the tone curve. I'm going to click down here on the point curve just because this is the tone curve that I like a little bit better. It's going to allow me to click and drag up to increase my shadow area so that we can see into the shadows and then I'm going to click and drag down bringing my highlight values back down. I can also scroll down and choose HSL and then make sure that I have saturation selected. I'll grab my targeted adjustment tool and I'm going to desaturate the oranges by clicking on the soybeans and dragging down. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of saturation in there but then I'm just going to move to my sliders and desaturate all of the other color ranges as well making that red combine really stand out. I could also go down to split toning if I wanted to add a little bit of color in either my shadows or my highlights, but for now I'll just leave it alone. Now in order to synchronize the adjustments that I've made to the still image with the video, I'll select them both down here in the film strip and then I'll click the sync button. Lightroom will ask me what I want to synchronize. In this case I'm going to check all and then synchronize and if we move back to the grid view and I click on the video, you can see that the changes that I made to that still image have now been applied to that video clip. Excellent. When I'm done editing this and I want to export my video, I'll choose export. 
In the video area, I have different options for my video format. I'm going to stay with the H.264 so that it will re-render this video with those changes that I've made. And then I can choose from a variety of different quality settings. When I click export, Lightroom will go ahead and render out that new video. And I just want to mention that you can also render video using some of the different publish services options. So for example, if I wanted to render video and place that on my Facebook page, I could do that as well. And don't forget, I have four quick tips here. The first would be if I'm looking at all of my photographs in my catalog and I just want to view the videos that I have, if I go to the attribute filter, you'll notice on the far right, there's an option to filter on video so that I could just see all of the video that I have in my Lightroom catalog. In addition, you should remember that not only can you make a slideshow out of your still images, you can also add video to the slideshow module. I'll go ahead and take off the filter for right now, just because I want to select these four images here. Let's say I wanted to use these images in the slideshow with that video. I would probably want to crop them first to the same aspect ratio. And of course we can do that either using quick develop. If I use the disclosure triangle right here, you'll notice that I can change the crop ratio and we have a number of different video presets. So I would choose the 16 by nine aspect ratio for now or we could go over to the develop module. And if I tap the R key, that gives me the crop tool. And you can see that I can set that aspect ratio right here as well. And finally, if I did have a video clip where I only wanted to use the first portion of the video clip and the last portion of the video clip, what I could do is I could make what's called a virtual copy. So I'm going to return back to maybe this last video clip here. And to make a virtual copy, I would select the photo menu and then choose create virtual copy. Now I still only have one video clip on my hard drive, but I have two thumbnails representing that video. So if I double click on the first one, you could see that I could set my out point maybe right here in the video so that I'm just showing the first part of the video. Then I would move to the second virtual copy of that video clip. I would skip over the first part as well as the whole center portion of the clip and set my end point near the end of the clip. So now I have two pieces of video. I could export them both, one showing the beginning of the clip and one showing the end of the clip. So there you have it, an easy way to work with video with inside of Lightroom. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.